In today's video, we are heading back to the world of Cobra Kai. It's Chosen's review time. Hey guys, me, your host, Super Zoro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got Chosen from Cobra Kai. This is from Series 2 of Cobra Kai, which also includes Terry Silver and, of course, Johnny Lawrence in his Eagle Fang, uh, Gee. Now, we've already done the review on Terry Silver. You can go check it out over on my channel if you want. The review's online already, but today we've got Chosen. I'm really excited to bust this guy out of the packaging. It's such a cool looking fig. But guys, if you are new around here, why don't you smash that like button down below for me? That would be really awesome. And let me know in the comments, are you, are you excited for the new series of Cobra Kai? Because I know I am. And seeing where this series all wraps up. Although I did see the other day that there is the new Co uh, Karate Kid movie coming out, which also is going to star Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso. Are they going to pretend Cobra Kai didn't happen? I don't know. I don't know what the timeline's looking like. I don't know how this is going to look, but it looks like it's going to be a good movie. And of course, Ming-Na Wen from Star Wars and Chun-Li and all that good stuff, she's going to be in it as well. So very much looking forward to the movie. Guys, I do also just have to say a big thank you to Diamond Select. Diamond Select were very kind enough to send this action figure through to us, completely free of charge, for us to review. So thank you very much, Diamond Select. Also, anyone that's new around here, why don't you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. Right, with all that good stuff out of the way, let's jump straight in and take a closer look at Chosen from Cobra Kai. All right, guys, here he is out of the packaging, looking absolutely awesome. Well, he's not out of the packaging yet. He's still in the packaging. What am I talking about? <laughs> I wanted to show you the packaging before I took him out of the packaging and make him look awesome. But either way, this is Miyagi-Do Karate. I am all over the place today. <laughs> this is the Miyagi-Do Karate symbol there for Chosen and the uh, logo on the bottom there, Cobra Kai, and his name Chosen Taguchi. Give it a little spin around. And as I said, you can see the other characters that are available as a part of Season 2, or Series 2. And here is Miyagi-Do Karate logo yet again. And a nice little write-up down the bottom, which states, decades after the tournament that changed their lives, their rivalry between Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso reignites in this sequel to the Karate Kid films. But with the reappearance of old friends and old enemies, the rivals must work together to protect their young fighters that they have trained. This deluxe action figure of Chosen Taguchi is based on his appearance from the Netflix television series Cobra Kai. It features over 16 points of articulation, multiple interchangeable hands, and a support stand. Sculpted by Chris Dalberg and Rocco Tatamala. And, yes, like I said, I have already taken um, the review for Terry Silver. He is a cool-looking fig. Really happy with this one. Um, the faces always leave a little bit to be desired, but I think that's the best we know. It is decent looking. You can tell who it's meant to be. And like I say, this figure was absolutely awesome. It is a different body and a different gear and stuff to what we've got for Chosen. So I'm excited to see how he sums up by, you know, at the side of Terry Silver. And we will have to get them to do that ultimate fight showdown from the last series. Let's do it. Let's break out Chosen from the packaging. I feel like I'm waffling like a crazy person today. What is wrong with me? I'm like ridiculously hyper. <laughs> and the thing is, I, did I even say at the beginning, hey guys, Miho Superstar, thank you very much for tuning in. So I'm not sure if I even did say that at the very beginning or whether I just jumped straight in and got a little bit overexcited. But if I did miss it, hey you guys, it's Miho Superstar, thank you very much for tuning in. <laughs> I honestly can't remember if I said it or not. I literally just got straight into the video and got a little bit excited. Um. Ugh. What is going on here? Ah. Cello tape. How many bits of cello tape are we going to find? That's two. That's three. That's four. Okay, that should let him out of the package. What's holding it now? Oh god, rope dies now. Yeah. Rope die. Another row tie? What else is holding that on then? Oh my god. Oh, I'm just not Terry Silver over. There's nothing else holding it in place. What's going on? 
Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a ropes I hate in. Okay. Yeah, now we're free. Okay, so we get the really cool Miyagi Do stand as well. I don't know why. I, I, well, I do know why. I was, I, I was wondering why they didn't all just say Cobra Kai on them, but I suppose because they've got different dojos and things. Does that mean Johnny Lawrence has comes with the Eagle Fine stand? That'd be pretty cool. I actually didn't bother getting the Johnny Lawrence figure just because I already have um, a red geed Johnny Lawrence from from the previous wave. I think it was an, an exclusive or something. Um, or yeah, I already got like a red geed Johnny, so I didn't really need another one. And I was really more interested in um, the newer character, the two new characters that we've got as well. Right, guys, you know the drill. We don't use packaging around here. We don't keep it. We don't look after it. We are out of box collectors, which means we give it a good old yurt. <laughs> At some point, I really need to put the Ryukan sound effect to that, don't I? I really need to throw some boxes in and go, Ryukan! <laughs> Do you know when I was a kid, I used to think he was shouting Ryukan? As in, like, the names of the characters. <laughs> All right, so in the box, we do get the chosen action figure in his sort of brownish to black gi. It's a very odd color, but it matches the one he wears in the uh, in the television series. We also, like I say, get the Miyagi-Do stand, the big, uh, what do you call it, the um, support stand, so you can get him in all sorts of funky poses. We do also have a long black bow staff. We have his two... Sai, which is very nice. All the accessories are black. And we also get two nightstick looking things as well. Plus we get a couple of different hand accessories so we can hold on to everything. I am going to change his hand straight away because I want to be able to pose him with the Sai because they were obviously a big part of the fight between him and Terry Silver. So I do want that straight away on the figure. And the figure comes with two closed fist uh, hands on there. Right, guys, let's jump on down to the desk cam so you guys get up close personal look at Chosen. Okay, guys, like I said, we do get some different hands. It's very similar to the ones we get for Cho for the other characters. So we've got the um, outstretched you know, hand like this. We've got an open palm hand. Like I say, it comes with two fisty cuffed hands. And we also get two grab hands, which I am changing them out for now. So let's have a go and see. Oh, nice and easy pops there. Yeah, nice and easy. And then we can just slide these two new hands in. Boop. One. And two. Nice. Nice and simple. Nice and easy. Uh, I do like the likeness of this one, actually. I think the likeness for Chosen's a little bit better than the likeness that we got for Terry Silver. I actually think this one looks pretty good. Um, looking at the articulation, it is pretty much the same as what we've had on all the other figures. So the head is on a ball joint, but it doesn't really look up and down too much. The arms lift out at the side hinge here and also rotate. Lift up. <laughs> and then we've got the hinge here, sorry, the rotation at the bicep with a double hinged wraparound elbow, which is nice. Hands are on, um, you know, ball joint. Sorry, the... Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hands obviously are detachable and obviously come along with the little, you know, they can move back and forth and all that good stuff. Um, we've got the crunchy, well, well uh, yeah, crunch here at the abdomen. It doesn't really do too much, but it could be just because it's a very new fig. Again, waist swivel as well. Legs lift out quite far on this one, actually, which is pretty nice. Top thigh cut, double hinge knees as well on here, which is nice. And feet are on, rocker and pivot, all that good stuff with display back holes, should you wish to use a display base. And like I say, this figure does come with a display base. Comes with this display stand. He has got a little port in his back here, which does port in very easily to the figure. Ooh, oh my god. Uh, uh, crunch, crunch. There we go. So he can port that into his back here. It is pretty stiff as well, so it will hold and stuff. Ah, these stands, they're great, but annoying. You've got to be very careful with them, because as you can see, that is bending the plot of the plastic already. For some reason, that's not moving, so I need to warm these up. But yeah, you can see that they, you can just give that a little wiggle, and it'll part into his back pretty easily. Uh, if you remove the stand altogether, you can see that there is the little foot nub there. And obviously there's the hole in the foot, so you can just, if you want to do it, 
if you don't want to use the uh, the big stand if you just have it on display in a, a reasonable sort of static -y pose you can just use the original display stand pegger and that works just as good for me i'm not going to be having chosen doing any jumping fly kicks or anything like that on my display so I will just be using the standard display base to hold him just to make sure he doesn't fall. Although he is pretty sturdy on his own, as I've shown. He is standing pretty well on his own, although I, when I say this, he doesn't want to stand now. <laughs> there we go. And like I say, I did change it out to give him the two open, uh, sorry, the two grab hands because obviously the big fight with Terry Silver, he was armed with the great looking size. So I do want to recreate that moment. And uh, can we put them in both ways? I'm hoping so. Yes, we can. Now, not a lot, not a lot of people know this, but size are 90% for defense. They're not actually an, uh, a, a weapon that would, you know, use much damage and cause much offensive. They are predominantly a defensive weapon. Um, <clears throat> and I think that looks pretty good. We can get some nice posing on in there. And as well, yeah, I, I like I kind of like the one backwards like that. It's kind of like a cool pose to put him in. Like I say, the defense, the uh, sides are predominantly used for defense, from what I understand. Although I am not a martial arts master, like Johnny Lawrence uh, or Daniel Larusso or Chosen. So take what I know with a pinch of salt. But I believe that's correct because I, I learned it from the turtles, and the turtles don't lie. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we got it, it did take a little bit of pulling to get it back out of the hand once it was in. But it was them little these the little ball things at the bottom, it stops it from just sliding out of the hand, which I suppose is good in some respect. So I can put them like that as well. Very cool. I do like this fig a lot, but let's bring in Terry Silver. Yeah, let's have them face off one more time. <laughs> Very cool. I love these things. I love Diamond Select. They're so fun. Uh, even, uh, I don't know why I did the Bruce Lee wow sound effect because they, they never made that in, karate, in Cobra Kai or Karate in a million years. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Really cool. Diamond Select Cobra Kai. There we have it. Both reviews are now online. Like I say, I didn't bother with the Johnny Lawrence figure. Really wasn't one that I needed in my collection. I've already got a couple of Johnny Lawrences from the first and uh, from, from from the first wave of Cobra Kai figures. Such a cool lineup, though. Really happy. I can't wait to reunite all four figures on my shelf. I really do hope that Diamond Select <coughs> do continue this wave, as it would be really cool because so far everyone that's made figures. For Cobra Kai, have made the same figures. Everyone's gone for the nostalgia kicks. Everyone's gone for you know Terry Silver, Johnny Lawrence, uh, you know Daniel Larusso. Um, they've all gone for the main, older gentleman characters, should we say, from the original, from the original uh, Karate Kid movies. Um, I would still love, and I don't know why they've not done this because they're so popular. But I really want. You know, uh, I really want a uh, Miguel. I want Hawk. Uh, you know, I want all the characters that the kids play from the Cobra Kai TV series because they're the star of the show for me. Really, it's cool that the old characters are in it, and it's great to see when they bring back an old character to boost the series. <clears throat> but for me, the story is all about the you know, it's all about Hawk, Miguel, uh, Dimitri, and all, all the other younger characters from the Cobra Kai TV series, and I like how. Every one of the characters have gone full circle. They've all been around long enough to see themselves go from the geek to becoming the to becoming the bully to going back to being the hero again. It's a great full circle moment, and uh, I think the storylines are awesome on Cobra Guy. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's on Netflix. And we've got the new series coming out very, very soon. Very excited to see it. Can't wait to see how this all ties up nicely together. But guys, what are your thoughts on the Cobra Kai figures and on Cobra Kai in general? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, may the Force be with you.